Hello friends, we are still here on the top of Stora Eilberg. I did two drone flights and now we are still walking around. Pretty nice weather. Impressive views, so nice place to be. Actually, I think this is the best crater in the vicinity of Reykjavik, but uh, not many people here, as you see. It's only me and Nina. A bit windy, a bit cold to wind, but otherwise it's really nice views. <clears throat> here we have a very steep cliff, which is not very fun uh, if you fall down. But, uh, well, I think it, even if you fall down, you won't roll down, but it's, it's, it's a rather safe place. It's also stiff, uh, steep, steep cliff here, you see into the crater. Here is the passage, a very classic crater. This is a very Icelandic volcano. All kinds of colors, beautiful rocks. Strange that no tourists come here. Perhaps one day, after some years, after when people will know more about Iceland. And because everybody who comes to Iceland uh, uh, goes golden circle. You know, it was the day before yesterday I did my first trip as a guide for 59 people on golden circle. I don't know how, how it was, I was a bit stressed, but it was my first time, first day in job. But uh, it was okay. But that's, I'm trying myself as a guide. Uh, in a big company, you know, so I need to to make some living, you know so that, And today I'm free. So we are just exploring the crater like You see I'm walking here on the red rocks and, uh, Very refreshing to come here Very close to my place where I live is just half an hour drive maximum See painted, painted rocks. You see, look, somebody painted natural. See lots of gas. Very similar stones you find also in Fagradal Shvat. They even found gold there. This one is also is, has been like this for 5,000 years laying here basalt exactly the same lava in Fagardos Fat and it will stay like this forever yeah so this one has also it looks like a huge rock but you know when you lift it it's very light you see what a pearl we found here. And see, it's almost a, like a diamond. <laughs> and this is, look at this, it's like an artwork. They should make a trail around the crater. I don't know why they didn't do so. But, uh, no proper trail arranged here. It's a kind of a pity. Well, maybe one day. It's very steep here. If you would fall down here, you would hurt yourself. So, this is what I had here, super, uh, look at this, super light, you see, very red, has many cavities, or vesicles, how they call it, Vesic vesicles, 
Uh, you saw it from the drone. How beautiful it is from the top. I'll upload those videos tonight when I come home. Sun is setting down pretty early now. It's November, five o'clock. It starts to get dark already in Iceland. Yes. This looks like an oven here, a red oven or a mine. It's kind of eroded, you know, through centuries. It eroded, looks like bricks, you see. Red bricks. Natural, naturally made, God made. You know. And you find also kind of tephra here as well. You see all kinds of colors. You see a lava with very high content of iron. Very light rocks, you see, they are very light, not, not very heavy. Even child can, can lift them, though they appear to be big. So, as so you can presume there was a lot of uh, explosive activity because of gases, so much gases around here. Fill it, rocks are filled with gas. So, uh, we are going down. I'll take my drone back and I'll start walking down. That's it. Hike for today is over. I say goodbye to this crater. Actually, I could see very well from the top that the eruption here was taking place from two craters from the big one and from the small one right here. You see, this is a twin crater. Just like in Meradalar, we had twin craters, you know, twin craters in the end. But now it's all over there. So it was twin crater right here, and this one was a big one, this one was small. And lava was flowing in that direction. So this is a lava channel which goes straight to the parking, parking lot where we parked the car. So that's how it was taking place here. Very similar fashion as in Fogadil Shuttle, there you have also the lava channel, but this was a immense amount of lava coming here. This is the size, the size of it, this is very big. Immense amounts of lava. And now it's all just rocks. And still for 5,000 years nothing happening. For such a long time, it just died. It's already many many human generations pass it by live it and die it and still nothing happening since then you see that's how it is in nature unpredictable we are walking down back to the car sun is setting down so I don't think I'll, I'll fly again. Because there is a beautiful lake here nearby. Uh, call it Clay Varvat. And that's... I wanted to go there today, but I'm not sure. So, moss. You see Iceland. Today, on November 1st. Kind of not very convenient to walk down because you can slide down.
not a single soul, soul around you see like a few kilometers all, all around nobody is walking uh, just some cars driving this uh, southern coastal highway So we did it. So all the best to you. Here we say goodbye. Ten minutes video. That's my car over there. You see that's where I have to walk. It's a nice parking lot, it's, everything is organized here, you can just park your car and walk here, all the best.